Yorkshire 38 for three in their second innings, still 82 adrift. That's a situation Essex would have been accepting at the start of the game. Wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we speak about trying to outscore the opposition, um, and it's been obviously quite a challenging surface at Chelsea this year. So I think 121 lead is, is massive. Um, I think on other grounds where the wicket's obviously a little bit more batsman friendly, you know, that's that's like a 200, 250 run lead. So. Yeah, I think we're in a very strong position, but they've, they're a strong team as well, you know, they're, they're third in the championship, so they've been in tough situations in the past, and they could potentially, you know, put a couple of partnerships together and then get back into the game, so if we can bowl like we did this evening, tomorrow, then hopefully get a few more wickets and then really control the game. Apart from the bowlers, batting has put us into this situation, uh, underpinned terrifically by your uh, innings of 81. Uh, with, uh, in four and a half hours and then of course the skipper coming in with an unbeaten 70 so important, both important at those different stages of the innings Yeah I think you know obviously mine was a bit, bit slower Tendo's was a bit more counter attacking that's probably that's the way both of us obviously go about, about batting but I think that was fantastic for Tendo I know he feels like he's he hasn't scored the runs that he'd like to but he's actually you know he's, he's actually batted really well and, and so is so's everyone sort of at the club um, everyone's sort of contributed at certain times. You know, we've been working hard with Tom Huggins um, and and Max. So, you know, we've we've worked hard on our batting, and we've accepted that it's going to be a challenge batting at Chelmsford. So I think just by accepting that and then sort of putting the pitch to one side, we can get on with with batting. Um, but no, that was a fantastic knock from Tendo in quite a crucial time as well because we'd obviously lost a couple of wickets that had the second new ball. Um, and I think a special mention to Rishi as well. I think he soaked up quite a lot of pressure. That was a tough first hour, first hour and a half uh, this morning. Um, and I think that will go a long way for him in, in his first class career. And also Aaron Beard as well. I think to come in and get 40 batting at number 10, um, scored the runs the way he did as well. It wasn't slogging or like a number 10, you know, he batted like a number 7 or 8, so that's, that's pleasing for essence. Well, maybe your innings has helped wear the bowlers down and made it just that well, little bit easier. Did you, let's talk, talk of that partnership with Rishi, because that morning's play uh, was crucial to the way the game has panned out uh, so far. Uh, did you guide him through the innings a lot, with a lot of uh, chat to him and uh, just, you know, a bit of your experience, really? Well, not really, to be fair. Like, he was very composed, it's not... You know, he didn't really play any rash shots or any shots in anger. He was just took every ball as it as it came, um, which I think showed you know a lot of maturity coming in without Ravi, who's obviously got you know wealth of experience to draw on. You know, Rishi's only played a handful of games, but to, to soak that pressure up, especially this that morning, you know, when they, there wasn't that many bad balls, just to take each each ball one by one and not get out of his bubble, I think was was very impressive. So, you know, he'll be disappointed the way he got out, but. You know, to get 30 odd and, and, and build a partnership was, was crucial at that time. I want to end this interview just with your own contribution. It was so important. A very un Tom Wesley like yeah, innings, really, very wasn't, boring, it? But wasn't so, it? No, 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 it wasn't boring, Tom. It was, it was so effective. Um, it was a necessary approach for the situation that we were in. And uh, I guess, you know, eating up time was almost was equally important, wasn't it? The wicket wearing, and you hope that Harmy can capitalise. But you've been so pleased to get know. that innings, wouldn't you? Because you've worked hard and haven't yeah. always got the I mean, against yeah, I'd, your name. I preferred 100, but yeah, I'll, yeah. Take, I'll take 80 at the start. Yeah. Um, no, it was just nice to spend some time in the middle. Um, I think apart from those couple of wickets we left, we lost just before that second new ball. You know, we, we were good at building partnerships. Myself and Cookie maybe put on 40, 40 odd. Dan and myself 40 odd, and then Rishi and myself 50 odd. So, you know, which is quite quite key on, on these sort of wickets. If you do lose wickets in clusters, it, you know, before you know it, you can be bowled out. So it was pleasing to to get 80, and hopefully, you know, it doesn't mean anything unless obviously Essex win. But we're in, we're in a good position at the moment, so hopefully we can have a brilliant day tomorrow and then walk away with a, with a victory but it'll only obviously mean something if, if we do and at least win. another three years of Tom Wesley and here at Essex having signed that contract so you'd yeah. be pleased to put pen to paper no that. very pleased hopefully not too many innings like that a bit more <laughs> pleasing on the eye would be nice and a few hundreds but um, no it's pleasing obviously to, to get some runs and commit into Essex you know it's, I've been here since I was 13 and can't see myself playing anywhere else so hopefully we can have a successful era these next few years